welcome. I'm Colleen. We're going to be doing a group training class today. It's going to be a nice mix of cardio and strength. You're going to want a mat at the back end of your setting, some space in front of it to get some cardio accomplished. And then two variations of weight. You want something heavy and something medium, something to challenge you. I'm going to be working with 20s and 15s. You can go 15s, 12s, 10s, 8s, 6s, whatever it works for you. In addition to that, towel, water, and we're ready to rock and roll. We're going to be working with a rate of perceived exertion today. So on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 all-out effort, 1 being no effort. We want you working in a safe zone for you, pushing yourself as you can. So figuring out where that is, seven, eight, nine, maybe touching 10, breathless every once in a while, but being able to recover it. Listen to your body. If you need to take a break, take a break. If you need water at any point, please grab it. If not, let's get ready to rock and roll. We're gonna start with just some deep belly breaths to ground down, so inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach. Exhale, release. Deep belly, diaphragmatic breath, inhale. Exhale, two more, deep inhale. Long, slow exhale. One more inhale to fill up. Exhale to release. A couple spinal twists standing. Awakening the low, mid, upper back, head, neck, and shoulders. Four. Three. Two. Windmill arms back. Awakening the shoulders, the upper back. Windmill the arms forward. Begin to find stability through your center, core strong and focused on providing that stability. Five, four, three, two. A couple nice squats, just warming up those legs. Rise and fall. Pretend there's a chair behind you. Tap the glutes. Squeeze them as you rise. Five, four, three. Two, back to that movement, laterally right, left, and bring it overhead. Opposite toe points out, and bring it in front of you, but pull, elbows lead back. Add a little heel tap, tap, tap. Heel moving to glutes, elbows drawing back, opening up the chest. Repeat or right, so that's two on the right, two on the left. Two right, two left. Maintain that work. Good, two more. Double on the right, double on the left. Jumping jacks. The jumping jack is too quick. Step out, step in, step out, step in. Always a modification. Getting our bodies nice and warm before we pick up those weights. A little jog forward. Keep the shoulders soft. Jog back. Forward. Back. Next time you come forward, heel the glutes. to the right, so it'll be one, two, hit, one, two. Good, moving left, right. We'll be doing forward and back movements as well as side to side movements. One more right, one more left. Dust off that jumping rope. Ten. Five. Squat. Wider position. The wider than the hips. Rise and fall. And strength will be targeting upper and lower body. And choosing core along the way. Four. Two, 
shuffle right. Get the high knee to shuffle. To right to left. Getting low. Inner and outer thigh focus. Four. Three. Two. One more right. One more left. Touch down. So it's going to be a tap down to the right hand. Double bunny hop. Tap left. Good. Find your rhythm. Two more on each side. One more on the right. One more on the left. Jumping rope. Four. Back. Four. Three. Two. Deep breath in. In. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Good. Come to the back end of your mat. We're going to inchworm it out. Chin chest. Walk the hands out. Hold that high plank for a moment. And then walk the right foot in. Place the left hand on the inside of the right foot. Twist. Lift that right hand high. So knee angle alignment. Pressing through that left heel. Breathe. Right hand back down. Step the right foot back. Left foot steps in. Once you have that knee angle alignment, place the right hand on the inside. Twist to the back of the room. Hold. Press through that right heel. Ten. Five. The hands step back, high plank, hold. Step the right foot in, left foot in, squat. Right foot back, left foot back, hold. Right foot in, left foot in, squat. Right foot back, left foot back, hold. Two more. Right foot, left foot, squat. Right foot, left foot, plank hold. Last one. Right, left, squat. Right, left, hold. Five. Walk the hands back to the feet. Jumping jacks. Got to pick up our weights for the first time. Think about what your selection will be. I'm going to start with my 15s. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Excellent work. Grab some water. Select your weights. We'll be doing three rounds of work with our major muscles. Switching it up with each and every round to keep it spicy, add some variety. So a basic stance we need to build from the floor up. So feet hip lift, knees soft, fire up the core, soften the shoulders. Basic bicep curl starts us off. Arms work together. Use the exhale as you lift up. The inhales you slowly lower down. Slow controlled movements. We're not trying to race through them. We're trying to get the max effort, max results out of each and every rep. Five, four, three, two. Excellent. Upright row follows. Quick pivot turn. Weights are going to travel to the chest. Elbows lead the movement lower. Eyes forward. Neck long. All four points of the feet grounded into the earth. Wiggle those toes. Focus on upper back and shoulders. Five, four, three, two. We get under those weights to so bring them up to the shoulders. Knuckles to the sky. Return. Exhale on exertion. Inhale down. 
Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. You got it. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good. Bend over back row. Arms will start together. I'm going to turn sideways. We're going to bend at the knees. Hinge at the hips. Flat back position. And then add that row. You want the neck long, the gaze down, and the belly drawing inward to protect the back. Elbows track sides of the body. Exhale up. Inhale down. Six. Four. Three. Two. One more. Good. Rise up. Tricep extension overhead. I'm going to use both weights. Feel free to put one down. If it's too much, you're going to draw the weight up and down. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Excellent. We're going to put one weight down for a moment. You're going to an alternating swing. So we'll release the weight at the top. Switch hands. Opposite arm that doesn't have the weight is shadowing. Focus on hamstring and glutes. Squeeze. Squeeze. Press the hips forward at the top. Fire those glutes. Four, three, two, one more right, one more left. Excellent. Put that weight between the feet. We're going to move into a snatch. Awesome movement, full body exercise. Legs are going to be active here. So you're going to reach down, alternating. So the left arm is going to punch out, right arm is going to draw the weight between the power of the legs. Up to the shoulder, elbow leads, punch the weight at the top, return to the shoulder, elbow follows down, then left. Right. Think about the legs again. Think a big part of this movement. Power up, down, up, down. Exhale as you rise, inhale, release. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one right. Last one left. Good. Take those weights down onto the mat with you. We're going to hit the chest from a mat position, knees bent. Elbows out in extension from the shoulders, palms, to the, knuckles to the sky, gripping softly, but holding on to those weights. Breathe. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Five. Four. Three. Two, weights move down. We're here, might as well do some core while we're down. Knee in, left elbow to right knee, bicycle. Look to the right, inhale here, exhale, move left. Right, left, right. 10. Five. Awesome, knees, chest, bridge pose. Feet hip width, palms press in, hips roll back and then hips rise up. Your gaze is at the ceiling. Energy from shoulders, hips, hips through kneecaps. Envision yourself holding a yoga block between the inner thighs. Feel that fire in the inner thigh. Stay here, layering an alternating heel tap. Try to keep those hips level, just the heels tap. Catch the beat. Ten. 
five, three, two, knees in. Take a moment, gentle rock, right, left. Heels down, toes up, weight of the head and the hand, crunch center. Keep holding a tennis ball between chin and chest. Control the rise, control the descent. 10. Plank party. Sounds like fun. Join me. Elbows down. Feet step back. Shoulder hips, hips to heels. Stay here if you need to modify. Knees drop. Belly drawing up and in. Full body exercise. Ten. Five. Front of the room. Elbow down. Feet Stack for ultimate challenge, split for a little bit less. Modify, bottom leg long, top leg bent behind. Decide where you want your leg position, hold. Think about lifting that bottom hip up and away from the ground below. Corset wrapped around midsection, belly drawing inward, not splayed out. Hold it, 10. Five. Switch, back of the room, elbow, shoulder, same foot position. Draw the focus to the bottom hip and lift. Stay with it, 10. Five. Find your way center, child's pose. Let the tension go. We'll end with some mountain climbers. So full plank position, right knee in, left, right, left, right. 10, five, awesome work. Jump in, rise up, move the weights off to the side. We're gonna do a little leg sequence and then hit from the top to the bottom once again. So with this leg sequence, we're gonna start with a squat. We're gonna to add to a reverse lunge with the right leg. Together, curtsy, squat. Left leg, reverse. Left leg, curtsy, squat. Right, back, right cross. Squat, left, lunge. Left, curtsy, squat. Right, reverse lunge. Right curtsy, squat, left, reverse lunge, left curtsy, squat, one more on each side, right lunge, right curtsy, squat, left lunge, left curtsy, squat, awesome, jump rope. Hands it, crisscross. Forward back. Skater. We'll move to the toe tap eventually. We'll start high. Back leg can tap down or lift. Working towards balance. Ten. Five. Excellent, deep breath in, inhale, exhale, water in. Round one, complete. Round two, about to begin. Again, we're gonna mix it up. So back to the bicep where we started. We said the arms working together will alternate for a hammer curl. So right leads up, then left, right, Left, make sure you're not swinging the weights. Take momentum out of the equation. Work it up, work it down. Bringing balance to the body. Strength even from right to left. Four. Three. Two. 
Last one right. Last one left. Same game. Upright row. Alternate. Right. Left. One arm is already moving as the other one's lowering. Shoulders as level as possible. For focus. Find that strength and stability radiating from center. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more right. One more left. Get under the weight. Overhead press. Same game. Right. Left. Right. Left. Find the rhythm. Maintain it. Good. Four. Three. Two. One more right. One more left. Bend over back row. Same game. Bend the knees, hinge, fire the core, right, left. Knees soft, just give a nice base to support the movement. Four, three, two, awesome. Rise up for a moment. We're gonna reset into that same position, but do a tricep extension. So hinge and fold, take the elbows high, and then it's an extension straight back. But we're gonna alternate it. There it is. Good. Five. Four. Awesome. One weight down. We're going to do that swing with a free weight, very similar to a kettlebell swing, but we're using a free weight instead of the kettlebell. So rise down, switch at the top. Leg driven movement, find the power. Squeeze, hinge, snap. Four. Three, two, right, left, awesome. Weight down, working towards that snatch. Big movement with the legs, feet a little bit wider than the hips. Right arm leads, left arm follows. Power through the legs. This should be a challenge. If not, it's time to go up and wait. Four. Three. Two. One more right. One more left. Awesome. Take the weights. Find your way back onto your mat. Chest. Bend the knees. Alternating. So right. As the right comes down, the left's already headed up. Five, four, three, two. Excellent. Weights off to the side. Bicycle, right knee in. Look over that right shoulder. Inhale here, exhale, move left. Right. This time hands move to the legs instead of behind the head. That's too much tension on the neck. Re-support the head. Six, five, four, three, two. Head heavy, knees in. Heels down, toes up, weight of the head and the hands. Arms do support the head. Now as you rise and fall. Take that left elbow towards the right knee. Right leg lifts a few inches. Right to left. Left to right. Do not need to make connection. Just lift that leg to initiate the lower abdominal connection.
five, four, three, two. Head heavy, palms down, hips high, bridge. Shoulder hips, hips to the kneecaps. Belly drawing in, protect that spine, protect that lumbar. Stay here, just hover the heels and hold. Ten. Five. Release the heels, slow our articulation down, one vertebrae at a time. Into a reverse curl. Roll, press, release. Roll, press. Release. Feet are flexed, pressing the ceiling away at the top of the movement. Five. Four. Three. Two. Get excited. Plank party coming. Take a stretch before we embark on it. Find your way over. Forearm position. Elbow, shoulders, stacked. Check in, low back bother you, lower the knees. You want to target the side body, you can add a little swivel. Hip dip from left to right. Left, right. Ten. Five. Three. Two. Knees down. Leg, side, stacked, split for modified legs. You choose and hold. Want more? Add the arm overhead, palm down, hip high. Maybe revolve the gaze towards the ceiling. Neutralize the gaze forward and gaze can even go down. Ten. Five. Awesome work. Switch side plank, back of the room. Same position of the legs. Same position of the arms if you move there. Think about lifting that hip up. Stay with the work, 10. Five. Child's pose. Glutes to heels. Good rise, full plank into that mountain climber. Knees in, in. 10. Five. Awesome work, step or jump in. Little sip of water. We set the weights off to the side. Do our leg combo move again. So find space. It's a squat. Step back with a right reverse lunge. Curtsy. Squat. Reverse. Curtsy. Squat. Right back. Right curtsy. Inner and outer thigh focus. Squat seven. Left reverse. Left curtsy. Squat, two more. Right, right curtsy. Squat, left reverse lunge. Left curtsy lunge. Squat, last round, right. Curtsy, squat, left. Curtsy, squat. Awesome, jumping jack. We're cruising. About to embark on our last round of weight work. Crisscross. High heels. Jog forward. Jog back. Forward. Back. One more forward. One more back. 
As promised, toe taps. We did the skater earlier. Feel free to stay high. For this time, come a little bit lower. Back foot can tap down or move to a hover. Hover thigh, glute, hammy. On each side. Wide plie. Knee strike over toes. Weight in those heels. Four. Three. Two. I feel the hold coming on. Bring it back down and hold. Hands away. Heel taps. Find the rhythm. Second round, most exercises we alternated. Third round, we're gonna isolate. So one weight. Maybe choose your heavier weight. Maybe stick with what you got. So the arm that's not working is gonna lock out strong energy shoulder through knuckles. So you're firing that side body. And that bicep is gonna go up and down. So right arm, single arm, hammer curl. Use that left side for stability. It's on deck, waiting for its turn. Five, four, three, two. Check done, right arm complete. Right arm now punches out, left arm curl. Trying to build balance from right to left in the body, both arms equal strength. This is how we get there. Tying up that side body. Lateral movement challenge five, four, three, two, biceps in the books, upright row, right arm working, left arm holding. Inhale down, exhale up. Five, four, three. Two, left arm up, right arm complete. Upper back shoulder focus, strong core connection. Six, five, four, three, two, yes. Switch it back up to the working arm, right arm is up, left arm punches out, overhead press. Single arm. Third round work should be feeling the effects of the first two. This should be a challenge. If not, you're stronger than you think and it's time to move up and wait. Five, four, three, two. Transition the weight. Right arm is done with that overhead. And now hold strong that right side. Good, and Straight down. 
left arm extended out, tying up that left side body for strength and stability. Five, four, three, two, work, switch it up, hinge, hold, fire the core, fire the arm around. on the right side. Done. Last one on the left. Great work. Move that weight off to the side. Lay back. Reclaim the weights. Bend knee position. Only one weight needed. JK. Opposite arm is going to just fire out close to the body. Up and down. You can bring that left hand to the hip. Encourage that left side, stability. Five, four, three, two. Pass off that weight with control. Opposite arm can walk out, recover that hip. Encourage that rounding on the right side. Inhale down, exhale up. Feel the triceps calling for one more round of work. Skull crusher, one hand on either side of the weight. Elbows stacked over shoulders, break at the elbow, draw that weight right above the eyebrows and up. This is our fourth round of work for triceps. Lucky triceps today. Inhale, bend, exhale, extend, six. Five, four, three, Two. Last one. Excellent. Put that weight down. Bicycle. Last round. Again, two alternatives. Weight of the head and the hands. Or more Pilates style based. Hands on legs. Inhale here. Exhale. Move left. Right. Is right. Soft is left. Ten. Eight. Six, four, three, two. Head heavy, knees in. Heels down, toes up, front center. Ribs slide to hips, belly to spine, slight not a chin to chest, weigh the head and the hands. Left elbow, right knee, center. Right elbow, left knee. Legs stay grounded. Center, side, center, side. Keep the tension out of the neck, put it in the core. One more to each side. Side, center, side. Head heavy, 
knees in, circle the feet, place the feet, bridge, palms down, hips up, hold. Once again, strong line, shoulder, hips, hips through kneecaps, envision that yoga block, squeeze that yoga block, fire the inner thighs. Hip dips, lower, press, lower, press, squeeze. Party coming in eight, six, four, three, two, hold high. Layer it in, heel taps, alternating. Ten. Should be feeling the glutes, the hamstrings. Five. Awesome work. Reground the heels, slow articulation down, draw the knees into the chest, give them a hug. As promised, plank, third and final round. Flip over, forearm position. Step the feet back. Do a quick evaluation. If there's any discomfort in the low back, we lower and modify. If not, we rise up and stay up. Stay here, follow me into a saw, coming forward and back. work, knees down, find that side plank position, stack, split, or modify. From here, add an arm thread. Fingertips go down and up. Eyes can follow the fingertips to present more challenge. Do what feels good. Ten. Eight. Six. Four. Last two. Transition with control. Drop the knees so you can find your way into position. Same position, stance wise. Lift the hips. You layered in the arm thread, layered in. Eyes can fall, fingertips, or neutralize forward. Ten. Over 
three, two, hold down. Alternate the heel taps, targeting the calves, inner thighs. 10. Five. Awesome. I don't know about you, but I think we're into a bonus round of the plank party. If you've done a forearm plank a couple times, let's go full, see how it feels. Come on down, walk yourself out, feet step back, neck long, gaze down. Shoulders, hips, hips, or heels, if you need to modify, drop those knees. If you want to intensify, shoulder taps. Final challenge before we stretch, we got this. 10. Five. Hold. Hold. Breathe. I plank one side, each side. Hand, shoulder, hand alignment. Feet stacked, split or modified. Lift the hip. Breathe. 10. Five. Place the left, spin into that stance, rise up, hold up. Lift the hip, 10. Five. Awesome work, center. Walk the hands into the feet. Wide stance, lateral lunge. Great job today. Gonna move the energy right, left. Next time you move into the right hold, looking to target the inner thigh with that stretch. Slowly walk the hands to the opposite side, bend deeply into the left length in the right. And a center hold, and then extend the legs. Heel toes and feet in to the rag doll arm position or opposite hand to elbow. Create a little movement or choose stillness, your choice. Shake your head yes to no. Slowly rise up immediately, reach for the ceiling, lengthen the core. We spent some significant time shortening today and strengthening. Side body, open it. Inhale, exhale. One more to each side, rise, fall, rise, fall. Chest presses forward, arms draw back, eyes lift. Release the grip muscles, form, tension, let it go, press the palm. Press the back of the hand. Palms press away, chin to chest, head heavy, shoulder blades drawing apart. Reach up, give yourself a solid pat on the back. Pull that arm down, tricep. Switch. Solid pat on the back for your effort. Release that muscle. Four rounds for the tricep today. Good. Shake out the arms. Quad release. If you need something for balance, find a chair, or wall, or just move that arm out to the side. Set your gaze on one fixed point for stability in that stretch. Knees drawing together, hip point pressing forward. Shake it out. Switch all the way into the leg. Find stability, wall, chair. Just send that arm out and set the gaze forward. Or so twist, let the tension go. A couple grounding breaths. Inhale, deep bend in the leg, reach the arms. Exhale, press the palms down, rise. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale, two more. Oxygenate those muscles fully. Excellent work today. Thanks for joining me. Look forward to working with you again. Be well.